Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing cut off shorts. It is almost summertime and my kids have so many pairs of pants that have holes in them from school. So I thought that I would make them some shorts. I have three different ways that I wanna show you that you can cut these off and make them look cute and make them look like you didn't just cut them off, make them look store bought. So anyway, let's just get right into this tutorial if you, are new please consider subscribing and let's get started okay so for this tutorial all you really need is scissors your sewing machine and some pants so I have a pair of my son's pants a pair of my daughter's pants who's five and a pair of my other daughter's pants who is three so the first one we're gonna do is my son's pants um, he fell down on the playground the other day and ripped his pants really bad but it's okay because I'm just gonna make them into shorts anyway. So I'm just laying it out flat and I'm just gonna cut straight across where that hole is. And then once you have the first leg done, you can just fold it over and line it up with the other leg and cut it right across. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you're going to fold these and hem them so you won't see if your cut's not exactly straight. Okay, now that I have cut them, I am now going to get them ready to sew. We are going to sew a hem on the bottom. So what you're going to want to do is flip them so they are inside out. And then we are going to fold up the bottom twice. You can do it once if you want and just sew right across the edge or you can do it twice and then just sew as close as you can to the fold. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I will bring it back and show you. Okay so this is the final product. I will hold it up closer so you can see. I did, I stitched it twice. I went around it twice just so there would be a double seam just because I like that look. But anyway that's how these ones turned out. I like these for boys because then you don't see like the frayed edge and stuff like that. So that was for my sons, that's the first way. Now we're gonna do my daughter who is five. So I'm just going to cut the pants off again. I'm gonna go off of the hole that is the shortest and which I think is this right one. So I'm just gonna cut right above the hole now I like my daughters and my kids to have long shorts. We don't wear short shorts. You can cut these shorter if you want, but it's always best to cut them a little bit longer because you can always make them shorter. You can't make them longer. Okay, now I'm just folding it over like I did before and I am gonna cut this other side the exact same length. So that is it for this pair of shorts. You can wear them just like this, cut off, or you can roll them. I like to roll them twice. So that does make them a little bit shorter. And then you're done with this one. And I think they turned out super cute and they don't look like homemade or look like I cut them off. Okay, so for the last pair, this is for my three-year-old and we are just gonna cut them off like we did before. I'm going with the shortest hole first and I'm just gonna cut right above the hole. And after you get each of these cut, you can try them on your child and make sure they're the right length that you want them to be. Then you can cut them shorter if you need to. Okay, then I'm just cutting this other side off and I'm trying to make these this a little bit more even than the other ones, but it doesn't have to be perfect either. So now we're gonna take this one to the sewing machine. I'm not gonna fold it at all. I'm just gonna do a stitch about an inch above the bottom all the way around. Okay, so now I have sewn an inch all the way around the bottom and now I've got my tweezers and I am just gonna pull at these threads and see if I can get it to fray a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes on each leg, pull at the strings, get them to come out, and then I'm gonna throw them in the washer and then in the dryer and let that do the rest and finish the fraying for me. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I just pulled them out of the washer and they're frayed. And the more you wash them and dry them, the more frayed they will get. 
But the perfect, the purpose of that seam that you did all the way around is so that it won't fray up any farther than where you had already sewn it. So it's only gonna fray that inch on the bottom. Anyway, that is it for today's tutorial. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing. I do fun tutorials every single week. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And if you would like to see some of our previous videos, please click the videos on the left or right and click my face to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.